Lawrence Sudan. Tēnā koe te mangau te whare. To the Minister of Education, e tōku to ana i ai ana kōrero me ana mahi katoa. The Honourable Derek to Stanford. Mr Speaker, yes. In particular, my recent announcements of the first nationwide phonics checks in Te Reo Māori. Undertaken across a two-year period, this check for tamariki learning in bilingual or immersion includes oral assessments, including a hearing check for glue ear, multiple check-ins on early phonemic awareness to ensure that tamariki Māori are supported to excel in Te Reo Māori. Te mongo te whare. Supplementary question. Could the Minister please explain how she is demonstrating her commitment to Te Tiriti o Waitangi when making her decisions about education? Oh, Mr Speaker, I'd be, I'd be pleased to. Uh, every single thing that this government and I have done as a Minister of Education has been completely and utterly mirrored in Te Reo Māori. You can take our phonics check that I've just talked about, you can talk about decodables uh, for structured literacy that have been designed, written, printed and delivered in schools for the first time in this country's history. We could also talk about the maths uh, res the maths resources that have been announced yesterday that are going to be available in Te Reo Māori, printed, delivered to schools by, the, by term one and term two next year. This is a government that is totally committed to making sure that Tamariki Māori and Rangatahi Māori are achieving at their full potential and we will continue to make sure that we put achievement at the heart of our work programme. At the Monga Te Whare. Supplementary question. How does making Te Tiriti o Waitangi and Te Reo Māori a lower priority for schools than they currently are aligned with the government's commitment to honour Te Tiriti o Waitangi? Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, as I've already said, we are putting student achievement at the heart of every single thing that we do. And if we want to honour the treaty, Mr Speaker, it means closing the equity gap so that decades of disparity that have pervaded our system and the disproportionate representation of tamariki Māori and rangatahi Māori in the lower quartiles of our education and achievement system is closed. And it is my utmost belief that education can and should be the primary protective factor for our kids in a way in which they can break through intergenerational cycles of poverty and disadvantage and live the life that they want, choose and deserve. At the moment, at the far, supplementary question. What does she say to the 11 education organisations, including the Teaching Council, NZDI Te Reo Rua, PPTA Te Wakia Ngārua, New Zealand Principals Federation and Te Akatia, who say that the government is proposing to, quote, demote the place of Te Tiriti o Waitangi, end quote. I would say that that is completely untrue, Mr Speaker. I've already, I've already stated that putting educational achievement at the heart of our work programme to make sure that Rangatahi and Tamariki Māori are achieving to their full potential is giving effect to the Treaty of Waitangi. Supplementary uh, question. Supplementary, Lawrence, you know. What would she say to Māori communities who were not consulted on downgrading Te Reo in the Education and Training Act before this was put out for public consultation or the defunding of Te Ahu of Te Reo Māori and may feel that their language, culture and rights are being undervalued by this government? I would say what I've already said to this House many times today, Mr Speaker, that the course was not good value for money. We can contract much better in the future. A point of order. Look, Dr Lawrence, you know. Thank you. The question specifically was around what would she say to Māori communities. This is in accordance with Speaker's ruling 206 bar 4. And the minister was referring to the value for money of the programme, which is an unrelated matter under that particular speaker's ruling. You asked about Te Well, I, I don't really think, given the uh, general tenor of the questioning, that that's a reasonable position to take. Taku uh, Deferi. The minister's referenced twice that Te Ahu Te Reo Māori was uh, no, of lesser value. No, sorry. It's question time. Oh, I need to buy a Start with a question. Which courses has she used to determine the undervalue of Te Ahu o Te Reo Māori? Uh, well, Mr Speaker, if I'm understanding the member's question right, when we looked at the performance of each of the providers, there were 13, there was one particular provider uh, that had a completion rate as low as 